Hi all, welcome back to the Spruce Gate Modeling. Today I will be painting Tamiya's 135th Bren Carrier Mark II. I sprayed this with Tamiya's dark green spray can, and I'm now highlighting it with Russian Uniform to bring out the edges, you know, add a little bit of depth, even a little bit of streaking. We will be doing more with the streaking later, so don't go too heavy on that. So, yeah, this is for literally the entire model at this point. Make sure you hit all of the sharp edges uh, and upper surfaces. Uh, you know, this is just to simulate some light. So, now we're going to give this a panel line with the panel line accent color brown from Tamaya. Uh, this goes on details, panel lines, and rivets. This is basically to serve the same purpose as the highlight, which is bring out color and depth and make it less monotone. So, there we are with that. We're now going to be giving all of the metal a uh, go over with some of the uh, a black color. Uh, we'll also be doing some streaking with US dark green. Make sure that these are pretty contained. Uh, a little goes a long way on the dark green and the black shouldn't be spilling over into anything that you don't want it to be touching. Just be careful on this step. We're also going to be painting some of the wood um, with U.S. Field Drab. Before we move on to painting the tarpaulin with a uh, English uniform, don't get this on the straps, and not all cloth is this color. Um, the straps, uh, the bag below it, that whole thing is khaki, which we are going to now be painting. Uh, make sure that these two colors don't overlap the, um, the English uniform and the khaki. These should be very, very, uh, you know, definite, separate from each other. So, there we go with that. Um, we're now going to be painting the interior, um, you know, painted metal that isn't part of the, you know, the main chassis is going to be getting a, um, a go-over with uh, the Russian uniform World War II. It's basically a lighter version of the dark green. Um that we're just going to be using to give some definition, um, some separateness. Sorry for the bad shot here, um, but right now uh, we're giving a uh, brown oil wash to what we just painted um, to bring it down a bit and, you know, uh, bring out some of the detail. That also happens to be our first weathering step. As you can see, I'm applying it pretty thick, and this is a homemade burnt umber wash. We're also going to be adding some highlights and shadows to the cloth. Um, namely, for khaki, our highlight is going to be pale sand, and uh, green-brown is going to be our shadow. And otherwise, it's going for the, um, the English uniform, it's darkened English uniform is the shadow, and green-brown is the highlight. Uh, this also brings the cloth colors together, as one of the shadow colors is the same as the highlight color for the other. Um, yeah, make sure that this isn't too heavy. Um, I'm smudging it with my finger a little bit just to make sure that it's feathered a little. You don't want these lines to be too definite, as if they are, it looks a little bit weird. As you can see, I'm doing the same thing here. Uh, if there's not, you know, sharp edges to get, make sure you just get the upper areas. Now we're going to be giving a highlight of gunmetal gray to all of the painted metal bits. Um as well as some of the um, unpaint, uh, or all of the unpainted metal, some of the painted metal also gets it. Just make sure that it looks nice. Um, you know, weathering. Um, we're now going to actually be using some oil paints to, rec to recreate rust. I used, I think, raw umber that I lightened slightly with a, um, like an orange color. I applied it to like top surfaces and then streaked it downwards. Um, I haven't really done this a whole ton before, so this is models kind of my weathering practice. Uh, be very careful here. A little goes a long way, and you don't want to mess with it. Um, so for rust, we're also going to be applying a lighter color, uh, I think burnt sienna, over that and streaking it down the same way, but in a lesser quantity. We're also going to be using pigments. Uh, I think I was using uh, English red and raw sienna again, as well as this wash, which is, I think, a raw sienna wash, actually. That color's coming up a lot this video. Um, 
that I also streaked down to finish off the rust effect. So now I've applied decals, um, you know, same way you always would. These decals for this kit are a little bit thick. Um, and I'm using a graphite pencil to do some weathering. And then some more pigments, um, burnt umber and raw umber respectively, to get some mud effects on the vehicle. The tracks are done like the bare metal, but I did um, slap on a whole bunch of rust and all of the pigments just to make them look pretty dirty. So as you can see here, I'm going very heavy with the, um, the burnt umber. I'm going to go a little bit lighter with the next one, the raw umber color. We'll also be applying a burnt umber wash to some of the lower areas. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with figures pretty soon.